How much the average real estate agent makes is a complicated question. There are a few things that you need to consider. First, real estate is hyper-local and niche. A realtor specializing in luxury properties in one zip code could make vastly different money from a real estate agent who works on commercial properties just down the block. In addition, real estate commission is what you make of it, how you negotiate, how often you work, and how successful you are at closing deals will all matter. You can find out the average real estate commission in your area, but that isn't likely to tell you how much you will make as a real estate agent. In this video, we'll explore how much the average agent makes, how they can boost their salary, and what you can do if you aren't making enough. What's going on everyone? I'm Kyle Handy, a realtor and team leader here in San Antonio, Texas. I help teach other realtors, team leaders, and brokers how to grow and scale their real estate business through digital marketing, content creation, social media, as well as tried and true methods. And if you want proven strategies that you can use to get more leads, closings, and scale your team, you'll love this video. Keep watching. Before I get started, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already as I release a new free training three times per week as well as go live every Tuesday and you won't wanna miss any of it. Finally, if you'd like my free real estate business plan template to track your sales, commissions, profit and loss, net worth, and budget, head over to kylehandy.com forward slash business plan to download it today. Okay, now let's get started. Here recently, the median gross income of all realtors was $49,700. Realtors with 16 years of experience or more had a gross income of $86,500. There are some caveats. Not every real estate agent is full-time. This statistic includes the real estate agent salary for part-time agents. When calculating the median gross income of real estate agents, that number will also include those who have just started working in the industry. So let's first start by talking about location and how that affects the salary of a real estate agent. According to Indeed, in California, the average real estate agent makes around $102,000 a year. Comparatively, the average real estate agent earns about $58,000 in Arkansas. So a California real estate agent generally expects to make twice as much as someone in Arkansas. There are exceptions, of course. Someone dealing with luxury properties in Arkansas may make more than someone just starting out in real estate in California. But your location controls quite a bit when it comes to your real estate sales revenue. Those in lower value markets may be able to boost their salaries through things like collecting a referral fee or realtor fee, providing an additional service as a listing agent like home staging, and negotiating with their managing broker. So now let's talk a little bit about how real estate agents make their money. As either the listing agent or the buyer's agent, you generally make a commission. While you theoretically set your commission rate, real estate agent commission has an upper ceiling. The rate depends on your area, but it isn't likely to go higher than three to 5%. A commission is then split four ways, the listing agent, the listing agent's broker, the buyer's agent, and the buyer agent broker. So the percentage that your broker takes per transaction also matters. As the seller's agent, you don't get paid until you sell your client's home. As a buyer's agent, you don't get paid until the deal closes. Because you don't get paid until you make your commission, you need to have excellent money management skills. There's no telling when your next commission might come. If the deal falls through last minute or you're never able to make a deal, you don't make anything. Both residential and commercial real estate run on commission but the commission for commercial real estate is usually a flat fee because the final cost and closing costs will be much higher per transaction. Regardless, a real estate agent's salary is almost entirely made up of the commission they earn. So then how can a real estate agent boost their salary? It's common knowledge that most agents end up burning out within the industry within the first few years. This is because it's difficult to be an agent. You need to be highly self-motivated and reliable. When you first start out, you're your real estate agent income will typically be much lower, but there are things that you can do to boost your income beyond the average. Number one, close more deals. As you start to make a name for yourself within your brokerage, 
you'll get more opportunities. The amount of time that you put in prospecting and lead generating is usually correlative to the results that you get out of it. Number two, provide more services. When working as a listing agent, you can offer services such as staging, high quality, high resolution photos, video photography, and even 3D walkthroughs. The more services that you can provide, the faster you can sell the listing and potentially the more money you can make. Number three, don't be afraid to negotiate. As a seller's agent, if you can boost the sales price, you increase the commission. Of course, if you're the buyer's agent broker, you wanna negotiate on behalf of your client. And in doing so, you can get better referrals in the future. Do you need some tips on how to improve your negotiating skills? Check out my other video that I'll link above. Number four, network more. Real estate is all about who you know. The more people you know, the more deals you can get and the more you can boost your income. When you aren't directly working on closing a contract, you should be working on meeting new people. Number five, find a different broker. You don't need to stay with your original broker. You're an independent contractor, so you can switch to any brokerage that you want once you're a fully licensed real estate agent. Another broker might have more training opportunities for you, give you more connections, or let you keep more of your commission. Number six, work part-time. The truth is that many people just starting their real estate sales agent career only work part-time. They work a full-time job during the day and network and build their experience during the rest of their time. But an exclusive real estate brokerage usually wants its recruits to work full-time, so there are trade-offs. For a more in-depth look at the pros and cons of a part-time real estate agent, check out this video that I'll link above. Number seven, chase dual agency deals. Your income can easily double when you have a dual agency deal, which is a deal where you represent both sides. Because many people are now finding properties and trying to sell their own homes online, there are more opportunities for you to be the only real estate agent involved in a transaction. Just be sure that you understand the legalities of this and talk with your broker about the specifics. Number eight, build your referral network. When you refer someone to another realtor, you make a significant amount of their commission. Some agents make an entire career on referrals alone. It's understandable that income starts low for real estate agents because they don't have many connections. But as you gain new relationships, you'll find that your income grows as well. So what if you still aren't making enough? The most common reason people drop out of the real estate industry is they discover that they just can't make enough money. A realtor should be guided by their real estate broker, but the sponsoring broker can only do so much. For this reason, the agent has to have the determination and motivation to grow their own business. Being motivated is perhaps the most important aspect of developing an income as a real estate agent. A realtor will need to set their own hours work hard, and constantly improve their network and skills. While they're always down markets, those who work hard should be able to succeed even in the most challenging markets. However, there are always mitigating circumstances and uncontrollable factors, such as bad timing. Sometimes, a real estate agent may need to change to a different focus or niche. If the market is crashing, for instance, perhaps they need to focus on working with investors rather than first-time home buyers. Sometimes, a real estate agent may need to move or get licensed in another area because the market is simply crashing. Either way, there are a plethora of opportunities in the real estate industry. When the market's down, some realtors even focus on rental properties rather than sales or commercial properties rather than residential ones. Being agile and able to pivot is part of what makes someone an excellent real estate agent. So here's a tip if you're just starting your real estate career. Once you have your real estate license in hand, it's time to chase your first real estate transaction. Over over time, you're going to find out more about the real estate market, how to market yourself effectively, and how to negotiate with others. Whether your goal is to become a commercial real estate agent, refer tenants to a property manager, or operate as an independent licensed real estate agent, there are ways to increase your income well beyond the average income for an agent. But the average income for an agent, even one who is inexperienced, is already quite good. And the average income grows significantly the longer that an individual works within the industry. If people can stick with it, they can usually find success. Nevertheless, knowing the average commission and average home sale in your region can help you estimate 
how much that you'll make as a listing or buyer's agent. If you're a new real estate agent, you'll want to check out my other video with 12 great tips to launch a successful career in real estate. I'll link it above. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Also, hit that thumbs up button and give this video a like as it helps my videos reach more real estate agents looking to grow their businesses. And by the way, if you're interested in partnering with me at EX XP Realty, head over to my partner page and check out the exclusive benefits that you receive. I'm passionate about helping agents win. I've already partnered with nearly 100 agents across the country to help them increase their real estate business and generate more leads. And I'm never too busy for you. When you partner with me, you receive free access to my current and future paid courses, which you can find on academy.kylehandy.com. Additionally, you get access to my private Facebook community called The Dream Team, where I go live multiple times per week. Head over to kylehandy.com forward slash partner for more information. Finally, if you've made it this far, I wanna thank you. Type hashtag end crew into the comments to let me know that you watched to the end. And now I want to turn it over to you. Do you feel that you make more or less than the average realtor? What tips would you share to increase your earnings? Until my next video, be well and get out there and sell some homes.